Hey guys, welcome back to another video. In this video, let's take a look at the referral module of Odoo 16. Like any other referral module, inside Odoo also we have a very attractive referral module. So once you open it, you have a like very attractive user interface and through this module, you can refer a friend to an existing job position vacancy. And through this process, you will be gaining points. So let's move on to the module and see how you can gain points and what are the other things which is included in this referral module. Okay, so now let's take a look at the referral module of Odoo 16. So here we have the referrals. Open that and it has a very attractive uh, interface once you open it, okay? So this is basically the interface which uh, pops up when you open the module and here you can see the avatar of yours, okay? And once you level up, uh, this avatar keeps on changing. So simply click on uh, here to level up. So you become in level 2. It will be based on the uh, points which you have gained, okay? So based on the different uh, levels, the avatar will also keep on changing. Okay, so I'll show you how these points and all will be getting increased and all. Okay, so once you open, you can see the avatar, the total uh, points that are to be spent. So currently you have 107 points and how many referrals you have done? One and the ongoing referrals and the successful ones, zero. So all those counts can be given here. I mean, it will be displayed here. And then you have view jobs, email a friend, rewards. Okay, so if you want to view the job, that is the jobs for which vacancies are available, click on view jobs. Okay, so so here you can see the different job vacancies which are available. Okay, so here you have a vacancy for marketing and community manager, the experienced developer, consultant and so on. So if you want to refer a friend, you can simply click on refer a friend icon. And if you want more information about this, click on more info. And simply you have the option to share it on Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn and share it other through other purposes as well. Okay. So you can see how much points you will gain once your friend, if you are referring a friend and that friend gets hired, you will be getting 85 points. Okay. So points corresponding to each job positions can be viewed over here. So if you want to refer a friend, simply click on refer friend. Okay. So I have refer friend for this marketing job. So here you have to specify the mail, okay, email ID and here subject and also the body is given there, okay. So once you specify the mail and this uh, mail is sent and if your friend click on this see job offer, he can get the view of the current job vacancy and he can apply through the email, okay. So that's how you do it and that's the job vacancy. So you can filter it based on company and department, okay. So that can be done. And here also you have the filters, group by and favorites option. So favorites option is the one which we see in each module. There is nothing different in it. Okay. So here you have the option to group it based on department. So you can see the grouping is done based on department like sales, professional services, research and development. Okay. And if you want to uh, filter it based on or group by based on company, you can do that. And you have the employment type. So based on the permanent interim and different employment type, you can see it and Finally, you have the option to see the published ones, okay? And in filter also, you have the favorites. That is, if you mark anyone as favorites, you can see my favorites. And you can see my job position, published ones, unread ones, archived ones, and also add custom filter, okay? So those are the things available inside the dashboard, which is the job position. So let's go back to the dashboard. And here you have the option to email a friend, okay? You can mail a friend and let him know about the opportunity. So this thing comes. So this is the same thing or the same pop-up which popped when you clicked on share the or refer the friend. Okay. So here you can specify the email ID of your friend and this is the subject and body of the mail. So you can simply send mail through that and here you can see the rewards. Okay. So for 100, currently you have 107 reward points. So for this 100 points, you can buy a mug over here. And if you have 750 points, means you can, you know, actually get Amazon vouchers. So currently we don't have enough points to buy this Amazon vouchers, but you can still buy this mug. Okay. So that's the option where you can see the rewards. And here you have one referral. So this is the referral. So currently the status of this is in progress. And if the status changes, what happens is that the point will also change. Okay. So you can see. So. 21 points out of um, 85 is, you know, gained for this person. And so then you can see the initial qualification, uh, one point for first interview, 20 points. Second interview, nine points, contract proposal, five points and contract signed, 
then he'll get 50 points. So that's the referrals. Okay, so that's one person is currently here in your referral and one is in ongoing. Okay, so that's the dashboard. Okay, then you have the reporting section. So simply click on reporting. Here you have the employee referral analysis where you have the spreadsheet view. Okay, so if you want to uh, enter anything into the spreadsheet, you can do that. It's not the spreadsheet view, it's actually the pivot view. Okay, kind of a spreadsheet. And also you have the graphical analysis. Okay, so graphs, as you all know, we have three types of graphs, which is bar chart, line chart and pie chart. Okay, so let's go back to the pivot view. And here you can see the total. If you want to add any measures, you can add it from here. Okay. And then you have the total, the earned points, the employee referral hired and the applicant and so on. And if you want to do any comparison, you can do it from here based on the uh, date. So you can put previous period or previous year and so on. And you have the group by option where you can group it based on employee, job and department. Okay, as you can see here, you have the administration department. And then you have the filter, which is to filter based on date or add custom filter. So that's the reporting. And inside the configuration, we have pretty much little things. So the first thing which we have is the rewards. Okay, we'll go to settings. Uh, we'll keep it for the last. So the rewards is uh, a mug and Amazon voucher. If you want to create a new reward, simply click here. I'm putting a reward as a a bottle or something so let's put bottle and if you want to add the picture of this uh, product you can add it from here and the cost so how much points you should need to buy this so I'm putting 50 points and gift responsible you can add a person over here so gift responsible is the user responsible for this gift okay either you can add it or you can simply leave it empty and save it or also you can add what description to it so I'm putting the description as now let's take a look at the dashboard and here you have the rewards open it so as you can see bottle has also been added the point is here and also the description is given here so that's how you add a reward now let's go to levels so as you can see uh, you have different images that is different avatars for different levels okay so you should have this much points so if you are at zero points you will be in level one if you gained 50 points, you will be in level 2, 100, level 3, 350, level 4 and 800, level 5. If you want to add a new level, you can add the level from here. So, I am putting the level as level 6 and the points required, I am putting it as 1000. And also, you can add an avatar from here. You can simply save it. So, the thing is that this image is mandatory. Okay. So, only then that avatar will be changing. Okay. And here you have the filter, group by and favorite. So filter and group by, you can only add custom filter and group. And then you have the favorite section. Okay. So that's the levels over there. And then you have friends. So these are the avatars for your friends. So the name of the friends can be seen here as hero one, two and three and all. And also different images. So if you are adding a new friend, that is, if you're adding a new friend name and the position that is, front and back, the image and so on. So this is nothing but if your friend is hired or something, if you get a successful referral, uh, along with your avatar, your friend's avatar will also be viewed. Okay. So you can decide the position where that avatar should be displayed. That's the, um, you know, field over here, like front or back, whatever it is. Okay. So that's the friends. And then you have alerts. So you can create alerts from here. I'm putting an alert like giving a date and not clickable alert I'm creating to this date this alert will be seen so I'm putting this as a new alert or something so if you go to the dashboard you can see the alert has come that is this is a new alert so this is how you add alert to your referral module and you have other alerts as well so here in the alerts, I've actually created three alerts. So basically you have three types of alerts. So I thought of showing it simultaneously. Now here you have on click uh, chosen as not clickable. That is you can't click it. It's just an alert for display. Okay. And secondly, I've created an alert which is to go to all jobs. That is once you click that alert, it will take you to all jobs. 
and the third one i have given the name is click me and the uh, on click function is to specify a url that is if you click on that and if you specify a url it will take you to that url so i have given the url over here now let's take a look at the dashboard and see so as you can see there are three alerts so this is the first one so even if you click it nothing will happen then you have new alert if you click on that it will take you to the different job positions as you can see you can you will get the job position now let's go back to reference here you have click me click on that and it will take you to the link which you provide so i've provided shop so that's the reason why it have taken you to shop so that's how you specify different alerts okay so that those are the three alerts inside the referrals and here you have the onboarding so onboarding is nothing but once you open the referral module you have certain path to skip okay so it's like a story so once you open it you will uh, like next 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 you will have option to go to next slide okay so there you have the option to uh, specify the messages which should be displayed in the onboarding okay it's simply giving some text it's just to make this process a little bit fun okay so that's the onboarding and finally we have settings so let's open the settings and inside the settings you have the option to change the background image so currently in the dashboard you have the background image as this if you want to change it to your desired ones you can do that from here so simply go on configuration settings and from there change the background image so that's all about the referrals okay so here you have a count as count of referrals as one okay so you have jordan jacob who is under the finance section so let's go to recruitment and see the status of that person so here you have jordan jacob and if you see the tags he's under the first interview state i'm putting him back to second interview okay so he's in second interview let's see what happens in the referral so if you just open this you can see it's under the second interview section now let's call, make him as the contract signed so he have gained nine more points previously we had 107 the points have changed to 116 let's go to recruitment and just filter based on all applications removing the stages over here and you have jordan jacob over here and let him go to contract proposal okay so the stage have again changed now let's go to referral see what happened you can see the points from 116 it has changed to 121 okay and if you open it from here it has become contract proposal okay so he didn't get the points of first interview second interview let's take a look at that one as well so go to recruitment and going to all application where we have Joran Jacob. So he is currently under the con a contract proposal. I put it into first interview, then put it in pre initial qualification. Here you have more where you can put it as contract signed and he is hired. Now let's see what is the point status go to referrals so you can see jordan jacob has been hired so i've uh, shown you the friends section right so when once your friend has been hired you can choose an avatar for your friend as well so i'm choosing this avatar for him and you can see uh, that person will be displayed with you on the dashboard so that's it and this is how your point have you know increased and your referral you can see okay this person is hired okay and currently under successful you can see one so this person has been hired okay so this is how the recruitment and referral referral module connects and this is how the point will increase so that was all about the referral module of Odoo 16 i hope it's very clear for you all thank you so much for watching see you in the next video